Good morning, friends, and a warm welcome to each one of you. Today, we reflect on the theme, Mary, Mother and Violet. When the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, she humbly said, I am the Lord's servant, and let your word to me be fulfilled. Our Blessed Mother was called to be the mother of Jesus. She did not know how it would be possible, for she was a virgin. Yet, she placed all her trust in God. She believed that when God is with her, nothing is impossible. Let us all, like our Blessed Mother, place the same trust and faith in God, our Divine Master. Today's Mass is offered as box intentions. Let us pray for all the intentions offered at this Mass and ask our Heavenly Father to bless them according to His will. Let's all rise as we welcome our celebrant and we shall sing hymn number two on page three. Hymn number two. Ring out your joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I am sure we, we are all happy to be here in this holy shrine of our Blessed Mother. We are safe 
we are blessed and above all we are her beloved children let us be grateful to our blessed mother mary for having brought us back to her maternal hands again this year let us humbly beseech her intercession for our well-being for the well-being of our beloved ones to receive the blessings from our blessed mother mary let us humbly acknowledge our failures since and feel sorry for them I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. shall take him number 19 on page 9 
and through the glorious intercession of our blessed mother Mary and come may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you and in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever A reading from the book of Genesis, third chapter, verses 9 to 15 and 20. But the Lord called out to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden. I was afraid and hid from you because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to eat? The man answered, The woman you put here with me gave me the fruit and I ate it. The Lord God asked the woman, Why did you do this? She replied, The snake tricked me into eating it. Then the Lord said to the snake, You will be punished for this. You alone of all the animals must bear this curse. From now on, you will crawl on your belly and you will have to eat dust as long as you live. I will make you and the woman hate each other. Her offering and yours will always be enemies. Her offspring will crush your head and you will bite her heel. Adam named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all human beings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For Please. response, we shall sing hymn number 31 on page 13. Hymn number 31. God's love is so wonderful.
rise for the gospel. We shall sing, sing hallelujah to the Lord. He had a message for a girl promised in marriage to a man named Joseph who was a descendant of King David. The girl's name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's message and she wondered what his words meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord God will make him a king, as his ancestor David was, and he will be the king of the descendants of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, I am a virgin. How then can this be? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and God's power will rest upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Remember your relative Elizabeth. It is said that she cannot have children. But she herself is now six months pregnant, even though she is very old. But there is nothing that God cannot do. I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I wish you all a very graceful stay at this holy place wherein our blessed mother Mary walked in, moved around and dwells even today not only in this shrine but also in our hearts. I am pretty sure that each and every one of you has a unique experience of our blessed mother's love and presence in your life. I too have such experiences. I wish to share with you at least one with you now. I usually 
assist in designing the altars and called often to various parishes and convents. It was around 30 years ago I visited the neighboring convent adjacent to the Shrine Auditorium here in Velankani. I had to remain there nearly for three hours, offering some guidances, and when it was all over, I planned to return back home and call my driver to start the jeep. And as I was moving out of the Shrine Auditorium to the auditorium ground, the driver asked me whether to turn right or to turn left. To turn to right means to leave Velankani. To left means to enter and visit the shrine altar. I simply said to the right. Shocked by my answer, the driver told me, Father, we are so close to the mother and should we leave even without entering the shrine's altar? Anyway, we returned home that day without entering the altar. And on the next day, in prayer, I happened to open a book called The Message of Merciful Jesus Little Souls, which contains lively dialogues between Jesus and St. Margaret. A book approved by the church, of course. Maybe many of you are familiar with this book. I was indeed shocked to find these words of Jesus as I opened. You were so close to my mother, and yet you did not visit her. The very same words uttered by my driver the previous evening. My dear brothers and sisters, from that day onwards, I have a great reverence to this shrine and the Blessed Mother, and I visit as many times as possible. Well, my dear friends, this is what is the reality of this holy place. Yes, the reality of the love of our Mother Mary and her presence. The book too contains few other pages on Mary by Jesus. Maybe it is interesting to hear what Jesus said about Mary. I quote, It was given to St. Margaret on December 3rd, 1966. Mary, pure jewel of my heaven, mediatrix between myself and men, canal by which my graces flow to the children of the earth. Again, Mary, a shining star, reigning over all the souls in heaven and on earth. Do not disregard her powers, for it is immense. It is through her that the spirit of evil will be vanquished. My heart is thrilled with joy when with her maternal hands she offers me your gifts. Again on September 29, 1967, to Margaret Jesus. It is particularly painful for me to note in certain of my children a want of love towards Mary. Know that he who loves Mary loves me too. Was it not formed in and nourished by her virginal flesh? Was it echo to her heartbeats that my heart began to beat for you, my children. My dear friends, coming back to today's theme of Mary, the inviolate. I have these thoughts for you. We are familiar with the word violation. Our, Ma our mother Mary is called inviolate. Really a more fitting title indeed. The very first pages of the Bible speak about the great violation of man, of his real identity, as a foremost sin of mankind. The very first pages of the Bible speak about the great violation of man, of his real identity 
as a foremost sin of mankind. He was only a mere creature, but being misguided by Satan, he thinks of himself as God by disobeying the commands of the Lord. A very big violation indeed. Even today, this sin is very common among us. Many of us think and behave as if we are gods by lording over one another, by living according to our whims and fancies and not according to God's will. Secondly, the Bible says that God created us in his own image and likeness, Genesis 1.26. But the first men refused to present this image of God in his life. God is love, St. Paul would say. It's again a grave violation on the part of men by refusing to represent God's image and likeness. Our Blessed Mother is of great example to all of us. She represented the real image and the likeness of God when she said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. The servant of the Lord, she asserted, let it be done according to his will. Here lies the purity and clarity of her life as Mary in violet. She remained faithful to these words till the end of her life. She remained inviolate with an open heart to God's will. She kept herself at the disposal of God, even when she, when she faced terrible sufferings and disappointments. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect how inviolate are we. Is there a place in our life to God's will? What are our guiding principles in life? I have a beautiful prayer which I say each day at the early morning. Into your hands, Lord, I command my spirit. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, Lord. Each day I recite, Early in the morning, somewhere I got this prayer when I was doing my studies. Every day, my life begins with this prayer. Into your hands, Lord, I command my spirit, do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all. That was the life of Mary. My dear brothers and sisters, what is our life going to be? Will it be a total surrender to God's will? Like Mary, our mother. Remember the beautiful words of Jesus as he taught us to pray. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth. How often we recite these prayers but without at least regard for his will. Let it be our prayer from today along with Mary. Let your will be done according to your will. Let my life be. Amen. For Fitri, we shall sing hymn number 35 on page 14. Hymn number 35, I give my hands.
accept our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the of the Holy Spirit Church. As we receive this sacrament, we beseech the Lord your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her so worthily the mystery of our redemption we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father all powerful and ever living God, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to us, hence, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty. May our voices we pray join with us in one chorus of Exalted praise as we acclaim. Please join us as we sing the Holy Holy. Before these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In the similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, Remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Pope Francis and our diocesan apostolic administrator, Most Reverend Father Sahai Raj, and our former Bishop Devadas Sambroj, all the clergy. At this moment, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for all the wonders, for all the miracles all the good things that we have received abandonedly from your loving hands. As one family, we have come here around this altar and we have placed all our intentions in the basket before this altar. We know that our mother, a mother of hope, a guidance, who is here, our mother of Velangani, really interceding, pleading to her only son, Jesus, our Savior, for each and every one of us, for all our petitions and prayers, intercession, intentions, plan which we have in our hearts and mind, with which we have come here and we have placed before this altar. Hear all our prayer, O oh Lord. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, His Saint Joseph and Most Chaste Spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father. With confidence, let us all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Lord Jesus Christ, with faith and love and mercy, we your body and drink your blood, that it not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. This is Jesus Christ, who comes to live in us. Happy are those who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only save the world, and my soul shall be. தயவு செய்து கவனிக்கவும் இப்போது வழங்கப்படும் திவ்ய நற்கனையானது பாவம் சைத்தனம் செய்து தங்களையே தயாரித்துக் கொண்ட கத்தோலிக்க கிறிஸ்தவர்களுக்கு மட்டுமே வழங்கப்படும் நாவினில் மட்டுமே திவ்ய நற்கனை வழங்கப்படும் திவ்ய நற்கனை வாங்க வருகின்ற போது தயவு செய்து உங்கள் உடைமைகளை பத்திரமாக பார்த்து கொள்ளுங்கள் யூ அட்டென்ஷன் பிளீஸ் ஒன்லி கத்தலிக் கம்யூனியன் by making proper confession and the so participate the holy mass might come for vote to receive the holy communion holy communion will be given in tongue please take care of your belongings when you come to receive the holy communion for communion we shall sing hymn number 44 on page 16 hymn number 44 baker woman
God, our loving Father, we come to you today giving thanks and praise for your unconditional love for us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our family and friends. Thank you for our work and occupation. Thank you for taking care of our needs, our every joy that we receive, both great and small. Thank you for loving us and accepting us just as the way we are. Our hearts are filled with praise and in joy and thanksgiving, we now sing hymn number 60 on page 22, hymn number 60. Thank you. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, in your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her, so worthy the mystery of our redemption, we ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. And peace to God. Today, we offer the rosary for the intentions of our families, for peace, good health, and well-being in our families, for our children, the choicest blessings, and to protect them from all evil and harm, for our young youth, bless them with good wisdom and knowledge. Those seeking employment may find a good job. Those seeking a partner may find a suitable one. May our Blessed Mother intercede for all these intentions and the intentions placed in the box and may we be all blessed with good understanding, love and concern for one another. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Take page number 54 in the old book and 79 in the new book. Navina to Our Lady of Health Vilangani. O Most Holy Virgin, you are chosen by the Most Adorable Trinity from all eternity to be the Most Pure Mother of Jesus. Permit me, your humble and devoted client, to remain to you of the joy you receive at the instance of the Most Sacred Incarnation of our divine Lord, Lord, and during the nine months you carried him in your chaste room, I, I wish, wish most sincerely that I die to renew or even increase that joy by the fervor of my grace. O tender mother of the afflicted, grant me under my present necessities that special protection you have promised to those who devoutly commemorate this in their memorable joy. Relying on the infinite mercies of your divine Son, trusting that those who ask should receive and penetrate with confidence in your powerful prayers, I most humbly entreat you to intercede for me. I beg you to obtain for me the favors which I petition for in this phenomena, if it be the holy will of God to grant them and if not, to ask for me whatever graces I most stand in need of. I desire by this Navina, which I now offer in your honor, to prove the lively confidence I have in your intercession. Accept it, I beseech you, in honor of that supernatural love and joy with which your immaculate heart replenish, giving the abode of your divine Son in your womb, in veneration of which I offer you the sentiments of my heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray O Mother of God, accept this salutation in union with the respect and veneration with which the angel Gabriel first hailed you full of grace. I wish most sincerely that they may become so many gems in the crown of your celestial glory, which will increase in brightness to the end of the world. I beseech you, O comfortless of the afflicted, by the joy you received when the Word was made flesh, to obtain for me the favors and graces which I have now implored 
to your powerful intercession. For this end, I offer you all the good works which have ever been performed in your honor. I most humbly entreat you for the love of the immortal heart of Jesus, with which yours was ever so inflamed, to your humble grace and obtain my request. Amen. Take page number 69 in the World Book and 96 in the New Book. O Immaculate Mother, who can who never can describe, describe your renowned faith, the God, the God of heaven came to this earth through you, where Jesus in you, you gave him your whole self to form his human body. Virgin Mother of God, we praise you and pay our homage to you. You who reside in heaven with your divine Son are our sweetness. You who radiate the light of the eternal light are our guide. We pray you to teach us to love your divine Son more and more. We acknowledge him to be our King and you to be our Queen. He is our Mediator between the Heavenly Father and the human race. You are the mediatrix between our Lord and us, the first in us. Jesus is the way and you are its entrance. O fair flower of the race of David, to you, our Creator, we became our Redeemer. The God of all presence was carried in your blessed womb. The God who feeds all was fed by you. Most noble mother, all generations call you blessed. We pray you to show your motherly love towards us, your poor children, and to lead us to eternal salvation. Amen. For Litany of Our Lady of Health, take page 57 in the World Book and 82 in the New Book. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Mother of Health. Our Lady of Health, predestined by God, even before the creation of the world. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, made known to the angels as soon as they were created. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, revealed to Adam in the Garden of Eden. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, the morning star foretold by the prophets. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, the cloud that brings rain to the earth. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, the vessel of goodness. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health called holy before your birth by the patriarchs. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health who crashed the head of Satan. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health born of the highest family among the descendants of the sixteen kings that ruled Israel. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health the child of the holy Joachim and in. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health the fruits of their prayers and good deeds. Pray for our Lady of Health adorned with more brightness than all the angels and the saints. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health who came into the world with the greatest piety. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, the torch of divine grace. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health who has been favored with divine consolation in addition to divine grace. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health more righteous than all the saints. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health who at birth was gifted with the heavenly light. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, whose birth brought joy to those in heaven. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, offered up to God soon after birth. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, who received a sweet name, Mary. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, presented into the temple at the age of three years. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, who walked foremost in the virginity. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, who was modeled to all while in the temple. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, who relieves the sufferings of the sick. Our Lady of Health, the unfailing help of those that trust in you. Pray for us. Our Lady of Health, the heavenly crown of all the saints. Pray for us. Lamp of God, who take away the sins of the world. Pray for us, O Lord. Lamp of God, who take away the sins of the world. Pray for us, O Lord. 
Lamb of God who take away the sins of the world. We fly to your patrony. Holy Mother of God, this way is not our petition. But deliver us from all dangers. Pray for us, O Mary, conceived without original sin. Let us pray. O God, who in your unspeakable providence chose the Blessed Virgin Mary to be our own most holy mother, mercifully grant our prayers on our behalf so that we may enjoy the happiness of heaven for all eternity. Amen. Take page number 75 in the old book and 101 in the new book. To Mary, our mother of health, we long O Mary, our mother of health, and our heavenly queen, see the glory of the Lord of mercy and compassion in your holy sign of the Lankani. We praise and honor you to be our refuge and our relief. Numberless are the sick who through you have recovered health. Relying on your power and goodness, we pray to you and implore you to heal our infirmities and to obtain for us perfect health of body and soul, that we may better be able to serve you and your divine Son. At all times, you have been the help and consolation of the infirm. You obtain for them help when it is conducive of their salvation. We assist them at the time of their death. Help us then, O most heavenly Mother, and obtain for us cure from all our sufferings, our patience to endure them in the spirit of resignation, agreeable to God's holy will, so that all our trials and sufferings may help to purify our souls and help us to detach ourselves from all our ties. Amen. For prayer to Our Lady of Grace, take page number 85 in the old book and 110 in new book. Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, whom God has appointed as the censor of His benefits, obtain for us and for all those whom we are now God. Your choice is to raise the just, obtain perseverance, to sinners, repentance and pardon. To the sorrowful courage and confidence, to disturb the families, peace and concord, to the informed cure and help, to souls in purgatory, solace and deliverance, in fine to each one of us, that particular graces we are now especially praying for, from your goodness and power. Lord Jesus, our mediator, with the Father who have willed your mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, to be our mother also, and mediatrix with you, grant us the favors and graces we are now asking you through our intercession. O Mother of Grace, be our teacher and teach the signs of saints to humility, self-denial, purity, silence and suffering, confidence, simplicity, and above all, love and zeal. Teach us especially to love and die in one uninterpreted act of pure and perfect love of God, and to be victims of His merciful love. Teach us to grieve truly for our sins, to be perfectly contrite in heart, to patiently bear with the weaknesses, weaknesses, pains, and sorrows. Teach us also to love you very much after God, and one day to be your beloved children in our eternal home. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves to beseech the blessings of Our Lady of Health. O loving Mother who industries to your beloved and eternal Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, shower your blessings on your children who are gathered here in this shrine and those who participate in the sacred mysteries through social media and kindly grant their prayers and petitions. O oh, miraculous mother of health, strengthen the weak hands, make firm feeble knees, console the broken hearts, wipe away the valley of tears, and lead us to your loving Son, our Savior and Lord. May Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you all. Amen.
shall sing hymn number 80 on page 30 hymn number 80 gentle woman charismatic prayer in East Indian Marathi. So all are invited to join at 4 p.m. today in the same place. Our Lady of Good Health, Velankani, pray for us. Our Lady of Good Health, Velankani, pray for India. Our Lady of Good Health, Velankani, pray for the peace in the world. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you and have a nice day. <laughs>